Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Prophetic Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning Coding Data Framework Beginner Tutorial. This is our part 16. Inside this video session guys, we will discuss about form helpers. And also guys, if you are a beginner to the channel, then please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our previous video sessions to get the clear concept about Coding Data Framework Tutorial. So far guys, we had completed about the several conditions along with our database connections. We had studied all about our query builder. So if I open a new tab, what actually we have covered in our query builder section. So let's write first. So query builder section. We have covered about called insert update delete operation. We had done all these things. Also, we have use our query to select data also we had used about several where conditions so there's a several where conditions where we have seen about or where or where in actually the coding writer functions now after that we have covered our like wildcards so let's say that like wildcards in our previous video session guys we had completed our join section and many more topics we have covered inside query builder section so along with these things now from this video we are going to learn our form helper so how can we make a form and by the help of that form actually how can we submit our data and save to our database table so back to editor now first of all let's make a route first so inside this routes.php the main configuration file means main route configuration file inside this file is route let's say the helpers and finally we, we are going to use called form helper and let's say that it will make a new controller and something let's say that user and finally it will simply a call form helper so if I save this file we have to make this controller first so go inside our controllers folder inside this controller I am going to make a file and that file is something called user.php inside this file we need to define our class so the class would be something called class user and it will extend all the features from our CI controller so let's say the CI controller inside this controller I am going to define firstly the constructor function so let's say construct and this is the constructor function inside this class we need to define also a method and the method is something what we have seen so far so if I close all our previous files copy this method name go here and I am going to pasting it here inside this method I am going to call a view file so let's say that this load and view this is the way to call our view files inside this view we need to pass parameters and that actually file resides in our views folder so let's say that inside this views folder we are going to make a folder something called user inside that folder we have a file something called form.php so go here let's create a folder inside this views folder and something called user inside this user folder we are going to make a file something called form.php so this is the file so I am going to write for now a simple message let's say s3 tag and let's say that this is form helper so if I save this file back here and copy this route go to our browser and if I paste that route here something called index.php and all about our user and form sorry it's helpers and form Now we can see that we have successfully called our file that we have made. So back to editor. So inside this page means form.php how can we actually implement our form? How can we make our form? And how can we submit our form? All we are going to see inside this video. So first of all go to user.php because it contains that view file. And now we are going to use a helper. So firstly we need to load the helper. So how can we load that? go to your constructor or anywhere of the function either we can load the helper inside this function or from this constructor also so I'm going to load from this constructor so let's say this load helper 
inside this helper method this helper method basically provided by CodeIgniter framework now inside this helper we are going to pass something called form this is known as form helper also this is called manual loading of form helper if we want to auto load this helper then we have to open inside this config folder called autoload.php and simply we need to specify that helper inside this array simply we need to write here form okay so this is called auto load now we have manual loaded inside this form after loading this form helper back to our form.php now we can access all the methods of our form helper inside this file now so let's define our form first so there are two ways basically two ways we have actually by the help of those we can implement our form inside anywhere in a, inside our coordinate application the first way we all know about this form HTML tag we can easily define and define our form here inside this form we can specify our parameters something called action let's say method equal to post or if you want to specify some class then it is here also if you want to specify some ID then it is here and also if suppose we are going to upload some of the files from this form suppose image or any of the file then we need to include call ink type and this is called multipart form data all these parameters we have defined now inside this form we are going to make some of the elements let's input type text placeholder something let's say name if I copy and paste again let's say that it is input type email and it will take the email address and finally I'm going to make the button of submit so let's say button submit and finally by default any button inside this form tag it is by default submit type so no need to specify call type equal to submit because by default it will be submit so if I save this file back to a browser reload this page now as we can see that we have two input elements the error actually we have seen it is about my system error so don't worry at all so if I make some zoom to this form now if I click on inspect as we can see that inside this form tag we have defined our form as we have inside this inspect we have form tag where action method class ID and many more parameters we have specified inside this form tag this is simple HTML that we have made so now how can we use our form helper to make this form so if I make another form so let's write up h2 tag here or let's h4 tag this is form without helper now if I write inside h4 tag let's say form helper so in after h4 tag I'm going to define our form tag so for that we need to call php tag and let's say echo this is known as form open this is the function basically form helper provides form open means that we have actually opened our form okay finally along with this function as we know we have also the closing of our function something like here and we need to use called echo and something called form close now we have two functions used so if I save this file back to our browser reload this page now if I press ctrl U to get the source code now inside this source code if I reload again as we can see that this is the form that we have made this is simple HTML form now this is the form tag that we have opened using our form helper so form open method basically provides this is the form open by default it attach all the parameters and also it gives the action parameter and finally we have closes that how can we change all these parameters inside form tag so back to editor let's say that we are going to pass our own route instead of that what we have seen here okay so back to editor let's make a route and something inside this helpers let's say form submit and this will call call form 
submit method. So if I copy this route back to a form.php and inside the first parameter, basically it will take some parameters to define all the user settings. So in the first parameter, we have passed our route. In the next parameter, basically it is an array. Inside this array, I am going to pass our parameters. So first parameter, let's say method. This should be post. Let's say that class. And let's say form class. I am going to specify our ID. So let's say ID. This will be our form ID. And finally, if we submit any form from this file, then we need to use call ink type equal to multipart form data. So if I save this all settings back here, reload this page. Now we can see that our settings define inside this form tag. Now here what we have supplied our let's say form submission route. This is method equal to post. This is our user defined class, user defined ID and this is the parameter we have attached. Oh, it's sorry, it's multi-part, so actually T is replaced with that, so save this file again. Now we are going to make some of the input parameters inside this file. So let's input or go at the top, copy all these parameters, go here and I am pasting inside this file. So go here, I am just commenting out these functions because we are not going to use about this form HTML tag, we have used something called form helpers. Now basically by the help of this form tag, we are going to submit our form. So back to routes, first of all let's make this method, so copy this method, go to our controller, let's say public function and this is our method. So if I save this file, again back to our view file and this is our name parameter so we need to attach that so that we can receive this value at server so all we need to say txt name name equal to let's say txt email so back to our controller inside this controller function what we have made the form for submission so let's say that we are going to take data from our form okay so Inside this form, as we know that we have made or we have submitted this form by using method equal to post. Okay, by using this post method, we are going to submit our form. So we have two different methods actually to receive the data from our form. It depends upon which type of actually method type we have used. So let's say that we have used our input type post, what we have supplied so far. So this input post. Basically, this is the way to get all the data. If the submit type equal to post, all we actually got the data inside this data variable. So if I, let's say print a data, save this file, back to browser, and now if I reload this page, close this inspect, let's say that online web tutor and email something let's say online webtutorhub at gmail.com if I press submit as we can see that we are now receiving all the data something called txt name and txt email these are the name attributes we have supplied with our input type elements so if I back to editor basically this is the method actually we have used because we have submitted our form by using this post method if I change it something let's say that if I again copy and paste this line comment this line and let's say that if I use something called get again back to our main page reload this page and let's say that online web tutor email is something what we have supplied click on submit we are getting no value it means that we have used call post method but we are receiving inside this get method so if I suppose change to get, it will take all the data from this form. So back to browser, go again back, reload this page. Let's pass the value. So this is again online web tutor, email is something here. And if I press submit, 
as we can see that this is our form data but this time we have submitted our form data by using this gate method so if I again change it to post back to our controller and let's say that we are going to receive all these data inside this data variable by using post method now how can we take the data something called txt name and the txt email so if I let's say that inside here if I write echo inside h tag let's say the form data and if I take all the data so back again we are receiving all the data inside an array format so these are the keys what we have supplied so let's say echo data inside this data we have called txt name as the key we have supplied with, with our input type name parameter and also we are getting instead of this name also we have email address so let's data and find inside this we have called txt email also a key so if I save all these files back here again press enter to reload this page this is my system error so again let's say that online web tutor email is something here and if I press submit button this is the data we have received called online web tutor and this is something like that so inside this video session guys we had studied about that how can we use our form helper so firstly some steps that we need to understand is that we need to load this form first either we can load inside this constructor or inside this method or inside our file something called autoload.php this is automatic loading instead of that loading inside constructor or anywhere of the function after loading that we can access all those functions like form open and form clo close and inside this form open we can pass our all attributes of our form tag and successfully we can see that this is how can we we can receive our data so successfully we have completed that so inside this video session guys if you have any doubt then please drop your comment i will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching have a great day